So, the Triskele. I mean, what is it? A set of spirals? A, well, what does it mean? Does it have any special significance? Is it even a Celtic symbol? Does it have a spiritual meaning? Well, today I want to look into it and get to the bottom of just exactly what this symbol means. So let's first take a closer look at the Triskele. So let's start by tracing this spiral out. And we'll start at the top spiral. And if we follow the spiral all the way out, we start at the center and we'll start to move anti-clockwise and we'll follow the spiral all the way out and we can see that it starts to form the second spiral and that spiral spirals on inwards to create the second spiral if you follow that around we'll then come back out anti-clockwise and form the third spiral which in turn forms the first spiral. So really, none of these spirals have any beginning or any end. Each spiral is formed from the previous spiral and seems to represent infinity and interconnection. Now these spirals are found right throughout Britain, Ireland and Northern Europe and many date back to the Neolithic period. So then, they're not a Celtic symbol I hear you say. Well, clearly, if they're found on Neolithic monuments and we've dated them back to Neolithic times, then surely they can't have their origins in the Celtic world. And this is true. Their origins belong to a period much earlier than the Celtic Iron Age. But the Celts would have seen these symbols and they knew they were placed upon sacred monuments. And what we shouldn't forget is that the Celts, well, they didn't form completely independently of their previous ancestors. There were still learnings and teachings handed down. And so they knew of these symbols, and they also knew of the sacred number three. And we see this design used on many of their artworks, this sacred design that was given to them. It was marked and left there for them on all these mysterious and holy spiritual monuments that had been left there for them by the ancestors. And so these markings had a deep spiritual significance to them. They knew what they meant. So now that brings us on to the next most important question. What did they mean? 
what did these carvings, what did these spirals indicate to the ancient ancestors? Well, I'm told if you visit New Grange, that one of the proposed answers to what these spirals actually meant is that it was a map of the local area. Well, possibly. If you forget to consider that they found in many other areas in the world too carved on Neolithic monuments. Some of the other theories are is that it represented the three worlds of existence. The upper world, the world of the sky, the earth, and the underworld. It's also believed that it could have represented the cycle of life, life, death, and rebirth. But I think if you look at it through the eyes of our Neolithic ancestors, we can probably say that this was more of a generic symbol that represented the interconnection of all things that were triadic in nature. So what do I mean by that then? Well, from the perspective of, of the Neolithic people, everything seemed to occur in threes. I mean, there was the, the sun and the moon and the earth. There was the sky, there was the land, and there was the belief in the underworld. And there was also the cycle of life, death, and rebirth, which they knew very well. And so I believe that this symbol represented all of those concepts. And it represented the interconnection of all these concepts, all these multiples of threes that they saw everywhere and they believed was the foundation of existence. So it represented the interconnection between the sky, the earth and the underworld and it also represented the interconnection between life death and rebirth, as well as the sun, the moon and the earth, it represented all of these things and it represented the interconnection of everything to create the whole. And so the Triskelele, a very powerful symbol. And I'm going to leave you with that. And I'll ask that if you've enjoyed today's episode, then click the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you again very soon on the next one.